If you're like me, you remember finding the alien blaster in Fallout 3 or maybe Fallout 4, and that thing was on a different level. You could knock down anything that came at you, and when I first found the alien blaster in Fallout 76, I expected to be holding a wonderful new Scorch Slayer, a weapon that would help in the fight against the Queen after we dropped a nuke. In contrast to my high hopes, this weapon let me down. Then we got an update, bringing allies to our camps. And after completing the ally quest line, Mission Out of Control, you're rewarded with the variant of the alien blaster, the Vats Unknown. It was an improvement on the earlier version in 76, but it still fell short. Now, we've just received a new update that allows us to apply legendary effects to armor, power armor, and weapons. And you guessed it, we can now apply legendary effects to the alien blaster. Now, you might be asking yourself, how do I get an alien blaster? Because that's the first step, right? Well, first thing you want to do, go into your map and look just northwest of the Carlton Mine, directly west from the image of a butterfly. Here I placed my survival camp so you can see it pretty clearly. Make your way to this location, and you will see a destroyed house in a pool of radioactive water. In the water, you'll see a safe missing its door. And inside that safe, you'll find rusty keys, a few burnt books, and the alien blaster. It's worth knowing that you should pick up those rusty keys, and you can only get the alien blaster from this location once a day. It resets on a 24-hour cycle. So, now that we have the alien blaster, we need to find ammo, because there's no ammo in it. Unfortunately, my footage showing you how to get the ammo did not record properly. So, I'm going to post the steps on the screen now, and I'm working on getting footage, and I'll post an update to it to show you exactly how to get ammo for it. But, alternatively, you can use daily ops, and even if you don't have one round, you can shoot something down super low with a different weapon, and then just bash it with the alien blaster, and you'll get ammo from it off its body. If you don't know how to use daily ops to get ammo, I have a video on it. Just click this link right here. So... Now you have the alien blaster, and you have some ammo. Let's apply a legendary effect to it. So on my first roll, I got a suppressor's variant, plus 50% limb damage, and breaks 50% slower. So I didn't like the suppressor, so I chose to re-roll it. And I got the furious effect with a 25% chance to deal two times damage with my last round, and the VATS meter fills 15% faster. I also chose to roll another blaster, and I just did a one star, and I got the mutants variant, which is actually really good if you're really mutated. So you can see me test this out a little bit in daily ops. The first enemy I killed was an iBot. Unfortunately, you can see that even with a 95% VATS accuracy possibility, I missed a lot of those shots. Next, I fought a little bit of a stronger enemy, a uh, RoboBrain. As you can see, it still is not packing much of a punch. But because we can re-roll this, and we can spec out our character, there's still hope. With the correct role of the legendary system and the correct character build, I have hope that the alien blaster still has viability. The Furious variant was my best roll so far. I've heard rumors that you can roll explosive onto this weapon, but I am not sure. I haven't seen it myself. I've heard people talk about it, but I have not seen it myself. So if you've seen it, let me know. Tell me in the comments if you've seen an explosive alien poster, because if you have one, that's amazing. So now you know. You can roll an alien blaster with a legendary effect. So go out and do it. I'm telling you, go out and do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Use daily ops to get more ammo. And if you roll something good, let me know down in the comments. I want to know about it. So good luck. Let's find the perfect setup for this weapon, because I want it to be awesome. With your help, we can return the Alien Blaster to its former glory. That's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you liked it enough, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Roll those legendaries. Later.